Have you ever asked ChatGPT a question and gotten a completely made up answer? That's because LLMs, as powerful as they are, still have limitations. Today, I'm going to explain what RAG is, how Redis helps, and show a quick demo of RAG in action. We will pre-process data, store embeddings in Redis, retrieve relevant documents, and use an LLM to generate accurate answers. To understand why RAG is important, let's first look at some key challenges with LLMs and why they need retrieval to improve accuracy. LLMs rely on stale training data, meaning they can't access real-time or proprietary information. They're costly to scale, requiring more resources as models grow if you send all your data for every request. They are prone to hallucinations, so without real-time data retrieval, LLMs can generate incorrect or misleading information. These challenges make it difficult to use LLMs for real-world applications that need accurate, up-to-date, and efficient responses. Now that we've covered LLM limitations, let's talk about how Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG for short, solves these challenges. RAG enhances LLM responses by retrieving real-world data before generating an answer, making them more accurate, up-to-date, and context-aware. It works in three steps. Step one, embedding. Documents are broken into chunks and converted into vector embeddings that capture meaning. Step two, retrieval. When a user asks a question, the system finds the most relevant document chunk. In step three, augmented generation. The LLM then generates a response grounded in facts, not just its training data. By combining retrieval with generation, RAG ensures factual, reliable AI responses, making it ideal for document search, customer support, and financial analysis. Now, why are we using Redis for this RAG pipeline? Redis is a great solution because we're fast. Redis provides unparalleled data access with its approach to storage. We're faster than any benchmark competitor. We're flexible. Developers can use Redis with over 30 top AI tools to give you whatever you need to deploy your AI app quickly. Because we work with more tools and systems, customers can just get started instead of worrying about making sure each integration is working properly. And lastly, we're trusted. We are battle proven by the biggest companies in the world and work at the scale they need. We can provide 300 times higher queries per second to give you the performance and production that you expect. If you'd like to follow along with the demo, scan the QR code on the screen to access the tutorial. This will allow you to explore the code and try things out as we go. Now let's connect this RAG architecture to the tutorial. In this session, we'll build a working AI assistant that can answer queries about a recent Nike earnings call. It retrieves relevant context from Nike's 10K filings and generates accurate fact-based responses using an LLM. Here's how each component maps to our work. The documents represent the 10K filings we pre-process and chunk. The retrieval step is implemented using Redis as a vector database to perform similarity searches based on semantic embeddings of the document chunks. For augmented generation, we integrate with OpenAI's GPT model, feeding it both the retrieved context and the user's question to generate responses. Finally, the tutorial will demonstrate how we achieve the end-to-end -end flow from question to answer using these tools and techniques. Great, let's jump into the demo now. So step one is setting up the environment. Since we're running this in Google Colab, I'll pull the necessary resources from GitHub, including financial documents and helper scripts. Next, I'll install the required dependencies like LinkChain, Redis, Redis VL, OpenAI, and Sentence Transformers. This will help us with document processing, vector storage, and LLM integration. Finally, we'll set up Redis Stack as our vector database to store and retrieve embeddings efficiently. Once our environment is ready, we can move to the pre-processing stage. Here, we load the financial documents like the 10K filings, which are PDFs, and split them into smaller, more manageable chunks. This is important because language models in vector search perform better with smaller, self-contained pieces of text. For this, we use LangChain, a library designed to handle unstructured text. By the end of the step, our documents are broken into chunks, each representing a section of the original file. As you can see here, we created 211 chunks. Now that we have the document chunks, the next step is to convert them into vector embeddings. Think of embeddings as numerical representations of text that capture the meaning or semantics of the content. We use a model from sentence transformers called all mini LM L6 V2 to create these embeddings. Each chunk of text is represented by a high dimensional vector. These embeddings are critical because they enable us to compare the user's query with the stored chunks based on meaning rather than exact text matching. After generating the embeddings, 
We can store them in Redis along with the original text and metadata. To do this, we create a schema for our Redis index. The schema includes the fields for the chunk ID, the original text content, and the vector embeddings. Redis uses the schema to enable efficient vector similarity searches. By the end of the step, our document chunks and their embeddings are indexed and ready to be queried. With our data stored and indexed in Redis, we can now perform vector similarity searches. When a user asks a question, we convert their query into an embedding, just like how we did with the document chunks. Redis then compares this query embedding to the stored embeddings and retrieves the chunks that are the most similar. This process allows us to identify the most relevant pieces of information to answer the user's question. Now that we've run our query, let's take a quick look at this output. You can see that Redis VL has returned three document chunks, each identified by a chunk ID. In this case, we have 88, 80, and 87. Alongside each chunk, we also see a vector distance score, which tells us how similar each retrieved chunk is to our query. The lower the distance, the more relevant the chunk is to our input. In this case, chunk 88 is the closest match, followed by chunk 80 and chunk 87. Redis VL offers additional ways to refine search results, such as hybrid search, sorting, filtering, and range queries. These techniques help improve result ranking, restrict searches based on specific criteria, and expand retrieval scope when needed. There are examples of these in the notebook, but for today, we'll skip over this part to keep the focus on building the core RAG pipeline. Great, and now we can finally do RAG. Once we have refined and filtered the results, we move to the generation step. This is where OpenAI's GPT model comes into play. We take the user's query and the retrieved chunks and feed them into the GPT model. The model generates a response based on both the context provided by the chunks and the query itself. This step is the generation part of retrieval augmented generation, where we combine retrieved knowledge with the reasoning capabilities of an LLM. Great, so now we can test out the pipeline. To test the pipeline, we can use a set of example questions. For each question, we convert the query into an embedding, retrieve relevant document chunks using Redis, pass the refined results and the query to the GPT model to generate an answer. This testing phase validates that the pipeline works as expected from pre-processing to answer generation. It also showcases how the system can handle different types of questions. So let's view the results. After testing the pipeline with sample questions, we can finally review the results to see how well the system performed. Let's test the pipeline with a new question. I will type it in. What is Nike's gross margin for the latest fiscal year? Amazing. And it tells us that Nike's gross margin for the latest fiscal year was 43.5%. As you can see, the system retrieves the relevant document chunks and provides an accurate response based on Nike's financial data. This demonstrates how our RAG pipeline effectively grounds the model's answers in real data, validating its ability to pull factual, context-aware information. And it's that easy. You now have a working RAG pipeline. Amazing, and that wraps up our tutorial. Today, we covered how RAG enhances LLMs by combining retrieval and generation for more accurate responses. In this demo, we pre-processed documents into manageable chunks, generated vector embeddings to capture meaning, stored and retrieved data efficiently using Redis, and used OpenAI's GPT model to generate fact-based answers. By the end of this tutorial, you've seen how Redis VL makes building scalable RAG pipelines easy, powering applications like document search, customer support, and knowledge assistance. Check out more RAG examples with our Redis AI Dev Hub, or talk with our experts, and finally, try the demo yourself using this QR code. Thank you so much for listening.